Hello everyone. In this video, we will consider another data set and we will solve another problem for SVMs. So let's consider a two dimensional data. X1 and X2 are our features. And Y is the target variable. So we saw a problem where we had single dimensional data and now we have two dimensions, which basically means that we can still use plotting as a tool. And now we have to use both X and the Y axis for the two features. Let's say X1 is here and X2 is here, right? And we have values for Y minus 1 and plus 1 which are the predictions which we can indicate on the data points to know which one is a positive value for the target and which one is a negative value for the target so let's plot them x1 is minus 1 and x2 is minus 1 x1 is minus 1 and x2 is plus 1. x1 is plus 1 and x2 is minus 1. x1 is plus 1 and x2 is plus 1. So these are the four points. Now let's see what the y values are. For x1 minus 1, x2 minus 1, the y value is minus 1. For x1 is minus 1 and x2 is plus 1, the y value is plus 1. x1 is plus 1 and x2 is minus 1 the while value again is plus 1 and again x1 is plus 1 x2 is plus 1 y value is minus 1 now the first question is can a linear SVM perfectly classify this data set a linear SVM we know is a line and can one line classify this data set perfectly? Whatever way we draw it, there will be one point that will be left, right? Let's say we draw it here, then this one, this point is not classified correctly. Maybe we'll draw it here then we have missed this point. This is not classified correctly. So whichever way you draw the line, we will miss a point. So this is a classic XOR problem where you cannot use a linear model to perfectly classify it. And hence, the answer to this question is false because the data is not linearly separable. We plotted the data, we saw it's not linearly separable, and hence, a linear SVM cannot perfectly classify this data set. Now let's look at the next question. Will a perceptron trained using perceptron training rule converge on this data set? Explain. Again, this question is linked to linear separability. We know that perceptrons trained using perceptron training rule only converges when you train on data that is linearly separable. So the answer is no, perceptron training rule does not work for non-linearly separable data. For non-linearly separable data, what do we use? We use We use the delta rule. We use a gradient, but we use the delta rule. 
right? Suppose we re-express the input data above by mapping feature vector x into phi of x, x1, x1 multiplied by x2. Now this is how the transformation on the features helps in making the problem suitable for SVMs. And this is why SVMs are powerful. This is the kernel that we mentioned so many times in SVM. We have just made a very simple transformation here. We have kept x1 as is, but the second feature we are considering is x1 multiplied by x2. And then can a linear SVM perfectly classify this transformed data set. To do that again, we'll use the same trick that we had before. What we will do is we will construct x1, x1 multiplied by x2. Now x1 multiplied by x2 minus 1 times minus 1. minus 1 times 1 plus 1 times minus 1 plus 1 times plus 1 and our y value is minus 1 1 1 minus 1 now we can plot this again in our graph minus 1 plus 1. So now this our y-axis actually becomes x1 times x2. Right? Minus 1 plus 1 and the prediction is minus 1 minus 1, minus 1, the prediction is 1, plus 1, minus 1, the prediction again is plus 1, plus 1, and plus 1. And the prediction here is minus 1. So with this simple transformation, we have now made the data to be linearly separable. And for this linearly separable data, we can very well construct a linear model to classify it perfectly. And for the third question, the answer is yes, with the transformation, the data becomes linearly separable.